and we're back at Maxim's, the premier spot for Asian Vietnamese music in Houston, and it's for CIN, Yang Yin Yang Yu, it's your voice. Today we have with us a very beautiful, very talented international star that had her start winning the Taiwanese Idol, am I correct? And this is Linda Chow. Hi everyone at ITV, I'm Linda Chow. And I'm here at Maxim Houston again uh, for my, I think, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, maybe tenth time. I don't know, but I've been in Houston so many times and I love Houston people and you guys are all the great, greatest, greatest fans and friends that I have. Yeah. Well, you know, if you've been back so many times, that means you have a fantastic following here, fan base, that's asking you to come back because they love you and they want to see you. I would really hope so. I well, would really you know, if, <laughs> if you're back so many times, that means they want to see you, but... I want to know the transition between winning Taiwanese Idol and then into the Vietnamese in music industry. So how, how did that happen? You know, it's just all by chance. Somewhat of, like, I, I was in college studying to be a pharmacist, and my friend goes and enters me into a karaoke contest. Your, your friend? Yeah, my friend. I, I wasn't going to enter. I was like, oh, I'm not a singer. It's okay. I do this for fun. You okay. know, something I always did for fun. But uh, at competition after competition, I ended up in uh, this Taiwanese top idol contest, and I competed within the nation, and then I went to Taiwan and competed with the oh, rest wow. of the world. And uh, I got first place. You took the title. Amazingly. Singing English, by the nice. way. <laughs> and what was the song? It was I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Big song. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And from then on, I was doing contracts and stuff. And then in between contracts, I kind of got introduced to one of the singers in Vung Sun production. And his name is Andy Guat. And uh, he, he kind of just wanted me to feature on his album because he wanted to bring something different. He wanted someone who could sing in Mandarin on his album. So that's when it all started. And it just happened that like the production was going to go to Taiwan to do their show, and right. they were going to bring me along, because they're like, well, why not bring someone that's actually Taiwanese? Yeah, so. I agree, I agree. So you say that you, you sang in Mandarin, and I know there's a few more languages that you sing in, so yes. if you can tell our viewing audience well, Mandarin, English, Spanish, Vietnamese, and a little bit of Cantonese too. Wow, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a lot of songs to, languages to sing. Um, which do you prefer? I prefer English because I'm born in California, raised in California, and my first language is English, so it's the most comfortable for me. Next is Chinese because I was raised speaking Chinese, and then Vietnamese because then I started learning Vietnamese when I started the industry. So I only really learned Vietnamese like four years ago. Four years? Yes. Wow. Okay. Um, as far as song selections, because you know, you've, you've been doing this forever, and I, I read that you started singing when you were three. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. So for song selections, how do you go about picking the songs that you want to perform or record? Um, usually when I do song selections, it's whatever I feel comfortable with, whatever I like to listen to, whatever appeals to my ears first. Um, but being in the industry for, what, four, almost five years now, uh, professionally, I have found that there are a lot of fans that like certain things, and you ha sometimes have to accommodate them, too. So, but... I still have to like the song first. I won't just sing a song because somebody wants me to sing it. I, I have to like it because it takes a lot of, in order to sing it well, I think you need to feel the song. And if you don't, then it's kind of like, eh, you know. I definitely agree. You, you have to feel it to yeah. sing it. So can you tell the audience um, that's viewing, what's your upcoming projects that you're working on and, and what's, where they can catch you next for the next, you know, next couple of weeks, months, next year, 2012? What's in store for them? Well, um, I just uh, finished an album. Uh, this one just came out. It's called uh, Eternal Love. And it has a lot of uh, the Vung Sun DVD songs on it and a few couple new remixes and new songs. Um, an original mix for Besame Mucho, which is one of my favorite songs that I, that I perform in Spanish. And uh, a duet song with Hui Bo, which is a new song that's, that's very good for weddings and stuff like that. Um, so it has a lot of my 
like a lot of uh, classic songs that I've done already. And then I'm working on a remix song, a remix song CD where it's like I'm taking all the classics and I'm turning them into like electro pop, which the youngins like now. So I kind of want to do that. It's kind of something fun for me. It's a fun project. Yeah. 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 And if my fans have been watching the new Bunks and DVDs, they realize that the last two, three DVDs I've been doing original music um, that I've been writing myself with and collaborating with the producer. And um, I'm trying to do that right now. I'm trying to uh, move the Vietnamese industry forward and uh, try to do more original stuff and not a lot of the um, uh, covers that we do. And I know like people love covers and uh, love listening to songs like they have fallen in love with and I have nothing against that but I just want to move forward myself because right. I've done a lot of covers already. Right, so how is the reception for your original songs because it takes a lot to write and to put yourself out there so how has the reception been with the, the crowds when you perform? Well, it's like, you know, it might not be as good of a song as let's say Besame Mucho or 999 Roses or Ngoi Ting Mudong, all those classical songs that I've done and it's not probably as familiar, but I feel like the younger crowd really appreciates that I try yeah. and they know that I'm trying. And of course, I can respect myself a little bit more knowing that I'm trying to move forward and doing something new right. instead of sticking to the old. Yeah. Well, I certainly appreciate you giving us your time to be here and to meet our audience. And tonight's show, I believe, is going to be fantastic. I saw some of your work before and I was like, wow, she's really awesome. So thank you again, and this is CIN Yang Yin Yang Yu. It's your voice.